Here's another classic example. We want to find the parameterization of the sphere. X squared plus Y squared is equal to R squared. So let's draw the picture here. And so the idea is, just like in the previous example, we're, when we were on the, the surface of the cylinder, only the surface of the cylinder, here we're only on the surface of the sphere, we're not in the interior of the sphere. So think back to the previous chapter when we want to do spherical coordinates. We should know that x is equal to, in this case, r, big R here is going to be the radius of the sphere, r times uh, cosine theta times uh, sine phi, y is equal to r times sine theta times sine phi, and z is equal to r uh, cosine phi here. So this is just our usual spherical coordinates where I'm replacing the usual row with a capital R here. And the thing to realize here that this is our parameterization. What are our parameters? Our parameters are phi and theta. Not r. r is a constant. You know, all the points on the surface of the sphere are at distance exactly r away from the origin. r is not allowed to change here. The only thing that can change are phi and theta. So our parameterization here is going to be r times cosine theta sine phi r times sine theta sine phi and r times cosine phi. And for this to be a complete parameterization, we need to write down what are the bounds here. And so we have bounds on theta and phi. It's the usual bounds here. Phi runs from zero to pi and theta runs from zero to two pi. So here's our parameterization of the sphere.